Let us pray. Almighty Father, in the Gospel of St. John, Jesus promised us that we would know the truth and the truth would set us free. Help us and empower us to know the truth, Lord, in a world where it is so often suppressed. Amen. Did uh, you see the President's State of the Union address? Yeah? Okay. Okay, well for those of you who didn't see it, it went something like this. We knocked off Bin Laden. Our military's great. Money, money, money. Work, work, work. Jobs, jobs, jobs. I ran better watch out. We knocked off Bin Laden. Yeah! The speech started and ended with the military. Almost everything in between was pro-business. His big human interest story was as much about finding Siemens Corporation a worker as it was about finding the woman seated next to his wife a job. A nuclear-armed Islamic State is pretty scary, but can you blame them? They look to their left, they look to their right, they think, well, they never invaded Russia. And Occupy? In November, the president told a group of Occupy hecklers at a New Hampshire mic check that young people like us were the reason he ran for office. Yet in the State of the Union address, he never mentioned Occupy once. And why should he? After all, we'd gone away. We need to stop kidding ourselves about this president. He is a militant capitalist who expects to run against another militant capitalist this fall. He sat back, well, he'll bomb Libya until democracy wins because we couldn't live with ourselves otherwise. But in his own country, he'll stand back and do, do nothing while SWAT teams bust up a fledgling anti-capitalist political opposition. The media is part and parcel of this whole thing. There is no way that the government could have gotten away with SWAT teams against political protesters if the media had been screaming, Tiananmen Square! Tiananmen Square! Tiananmen Square! And yet, that's essentially what it was. Another group of protesters occupying public space. The government puts up with them for a little while. And then they're just going to make them go away. And the media laughed it up all the way. The media is, the main media, the mainstream media, is controlled by capitalists. They sell airtime. 30 seconds at a time on ad slots. <laughs> Think about the big political campaigns. Obama, Gingrich, Romney. What do they spend their money on? For the most part, they need their money to purchase media coverage. That's what the mainstream media has become. It is a big business. They are selling commercial airtime and they sell it to political campaigns just like they sell it to corporations. So Occupy, first of all, being essentially uh, an anti-capitalist or at least anti-corporatist op opposition, they're not unbiased. They're right there uh, trying to spin this thing. It's all so confusing. They don't know what these people represent. I took a look at the 2008 Democratic and Republican National Party platforms. I think uh, the Democratic Party was like 59 pages long, I want to say, and the Republican platform was 67 pages long. No media spin there that uh, there's too many issues, it's too confusing, it's really just media spin. And now what we're facing is essentially media blackout. You've probably heard about the riots, really, down in Oakland. These speeches that I give here every Sunday afternoon, 
Channel 2, Channel 11, Channel 13, the Daily News, they get press release after press release after press release. Every Thursday evening they get a press release announcing the upcoming speech on Sunday. Where are they? They are not here. They will cover riots, but they will not cover speeches. That is why they're able to spin Occupy as a bunch of hooligans. Do I look to you like a hooligan? No. You may not agree with what I'm saying, but I'm not a hooligan. I'm out here giving a speech, but the media will not cover speeches. They will only cover riots. It is essentially a media-concocted lie. It is their favorite kind of lie. It is a lie by omission. Uh, none of the individual facts they are presenting are false. But because they are so selective in what they present, what it adds up to is a lie. That Occupy is a bunch of hooligans, so the government should just come in with SWAT teams, bust them up, and move them off. This is what we are facing right now with Occupy. It is a difficult and dangerous situation. It is certainly something that has... Uh, it has troubled me a lot, and we are, uh, you know, we, I, I pray at the beginning of uh, my speeches, I, I pray a lot, and truly right now, uh, the biggest prayer I've got is how to, de have just guidance from the Lord as to how to lead this thing, and to deal with what I think at this point is our number one enemy, and that is a biased media that is out to twist and suppress the truth about this movement. Amen.